live it like Lisa here? Wow, what a freaking mess we are in at the moment. We have currently got no power, no telephone service, which means no internet service. We have got a massive cleanup to do today, if you guys are aware, but we have just been absolutely flooded on the mid north coast the the it's like it's noah's ark all over again it's been feels like it's been raining for 40 days and 40 nights it's just been absolutely crazy all the rivers are overflowing all the creeks everything we are actually stranded at the moment we can't get out of where we live and yeah we've got like one access road and that is probably about a meter underwater at the moment so yeah it's been a mess the house is fine the house is not flooded but our garage and sheds are flooded so that's what we're going to be spending today doing i have never seen it throw it down as hard and as ferocious as it did last night it was insane it was that bad we had to actually have the dogs sleeping inside they were actually sleeping in our bedroom because it was just way too crazy for them to be outside and I felt so sorry for Rolly, like poor Rolly had to stay out in it. We're actually going to be making a little enclosure for him as well tonight to keep him a bit bit dry anyway. So yeah, it's been insane here, like ugh, crazy. Like this time last year we were in bushfires and now we're in floods. <laughs> it's just so extreme in this country. It's crazy. So yeah, I apologize. I look like a mess. Because having no water, uh, having no electricity also means we've got no water. So I haven't had to, I haven't been able to have a shower. And we're just basically in clean up mode today. This is sort of what's happened to our driveway, which considering how much rain we had, it's not too bad, but we've just got to clean it up a bit today. So it's sort of gouged out quite big trenches in our driveway and it's all ended up down here which means it's blocked off the drains to the shed which means all the water and sleet and everything has gone all the way through the shed right to the very back all of that is actually wet and sleety stuff so i don't know if you can really see what it's like but yeah that's all the way through the shed at the moment and we've got to try and pick all this up somehow and distribute it somewhere because it doesn't look like the rains have finished yet. We've probably still got another week of solid rain to go. There was about an inch of water all through the garage that we've got to sweep out somehow. Has it dried up a bit? Oh, it's not too bad. So yeah, it's gone all the way up to the door. That's my poor Christmas tree sitting in it all. So yeah, it's quite a bit of water <laughs> all the way in here, but luckily most everything is off the floor. My heart is beating, I know the pieces, which one is broken and one is split, because I have seen them fall apart, I have no rules apart to play. I didn't have anything to say Follow your heart Don't overtake it If you leave it behind Someone will break you I left you my heart What did you do? You used it and abused it You left me all sad and sad Was my love untrue? Was it dark? You have no answers Okay, we're making some progress. Jesse and Jamie have done the bulk of this part. They've done a really good job. So we've managed to clear out a lot of the drain. We are now just making a little enclosure for Rolly so that he's got some shelter because currently we, he doesn't really have any shelter in his paddock and the rain's been so intense. So we've um, made him a little enclosure here so that he can go under the gym awning and get out of the rain if he needs to and we're just going to make this little section a little bit bigger because yeah he'll he'll probably be doing us a favor by keeping the grass short while we're <laughs> 
flooded. So that's what we're doing at the moment. We're all currently looking like drowned rats because the rain's still not let up. It's still on and off, on and off. Uh, nowhere near like it was last night. Last night, honestly, I was just like, it literally felt like Armageddon. Like it was just insane. This is the first time in the kids' lives where we've had no electricity and no phone service. So even when we've had no electricity, we still had the phone. So you've still had your phones to play around on, but this is the first time we've actually had nothing. Lovely. And we've had to spend time as a family and it's, it's been awful. really distressing. I think that's the most distressing bit of all is actually having to talk to each other and do stuff together and work together to do things. Is okay. the tadpoles still in it or have they yeah. all washed away? No, they're still in it. Are they? That's lucky. How oh, you... Jesus, look how big they are now. How do you know they don't drink from that? Are any of them growing legs yet? No. Why aren't they growing legs? Because they just take a while. There's a big one down there. Why isn't it focusing? That's because they're all getting washed away, so I need to get rid of the water. These are all tadpoles that have, like, spontaneously came in here. Like, last we haven't... Flood. We haven't caught any and put them in here. They've just, yeah, the last flood that we have, we just discovered tiny tadpoles in here. And now they're bloody, the now they're massive tadpoles and soon they'll be bloody massive frogs. They eat kale from the garden. Oh yeah, so we've got heaps of kale. Oh, look at the little one here. Wow, it's one of my biggest ones. Show me, just tilt it so I can see it. Oh my God, they're so cute. They're gonna be the Not green ones. Frogs. <laughs> no, I think they're gonna be the green frogs, aren't they? And they're gonna be in your toilet. Oh I think God. So. so apparently um, Jessie puts the wood in there because she's seeing kookaburras coming and trying to eat them. So she's put the wood in there to float around so they've got something to hide under, which I thought was really clever. Yeah. She's such a clever girl. Or it can be a platform the kookaburra to sit on. To just sit on and peck them out. Spend time with the family. Come on. All of us are here, even the horse. And Bandy's all the way up there. Bandy, come! I love you! Bandy, I love you. I do love you! What's wrong with him? Bandy, I love you! I love you too, but you're already here. You're already here. You give him Bandy the death eyes so he's not allowed down here. You're giving him the death eyes, aren't you? Bandy. Don't give him the death eyes. Bandy, come. He's coming over. Oh, good boy. Come on. Good boy. Come with the family. There you go. Come here. Come here. Oh, then you spend time with the family. Are you growling? Don't you growl at him. He's allowed. Come here. Come. No. Hey, hey. No. No. Leave him alone, Chaos. No. He's so lovely. Mm -hmm. You're lovely too. <laughs> You're lovely too. Don't give me the death eyes. Well, the kids have been working very hard and we have cleared a lot of the drain out, which is good. So hopefully if we get more rain, the garage won't, or the shed, this is actually the shed, won't flood as bad. And it's coming down again. But have a look where Rolly is. He's not stupid. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we got him under there. Poor little guy. I think he appreciates it. But yeah, it's just been like this non-stop. And last night was, oh, 
a thousand times worse it just came down so hard it was insane good morning everyone it is day two of disaster recovery we've got the dogs in our house our house just smells like wet dog but what can you do these guys are just absolutely over it they just can't escape the rain so we've had them in for the last few days we've still got no electricity and I have a feeling we won't be having electricity for quite a few more days yet because the like essential energy workers that need to fix the power outage can't actually get here because the access road is all blocked so yeah I mean I think they come from Taree so pretty much the whole highway is closed from about Harrington to Johns River even before they get out here so yeah it's just that i don't even think they're going to be able to get out here and with the rain not even letting up it's not giving anything a chance to subside and to go down so all the roads like our main road is still blocked we've also got no phone service either so that came on from for a couple of hours last night and i was able to update my facebook status my instagram and youtube to let you guys know what was happening but then I think after midnight that night, the phone service went out again. So we're again without phone service. So we don't even know, we can't even get updates as to what's happening in the community, you know what I mean? Because we've got a few community pages that everyone sort of says or lets you know what roads are blocked, what you know, what's happening out there. So we don't even have access to that at the moment. So yeah, we're pretty much stuck. And um, I don't want really, I really don't want Michael to go anywhere just in case he can't get back. I just had to come back in side i was getting blown <laughs> blown away out there and so yeah i was just saying I, I really michael wanted to sort of go and just try and get a few things from the shop but I, i'm a bit like i just i said to him I'm, you know we might it might be all right getting out but then you might be blocked from coming back so i just i don't really run, want to risk it at the moment our hummer's not running so uh, we've only got like a just a regular sedan type car that's our only car at the moment so i don't want to get that stuck in floodwaters anywhere so it also means Michael can't get to work and without electricity and phone, it doesn't look like I'll be able to work tomorrow because today's Sunday. Uh, so unless the phone and uh, electricity comes back, I won't be working. I'm definitely not sending the kids to school at all next week because it's still predicted to be raining for the whole of next week and I don't want to risk them getting trapped. I'm, I'm just so grateful because on the Friday when all of this started, normally Jesse goes to TAFE on Friday, which and Michael normally, uh, he'll pick her up after work and, and drive her home. And normally then Jamie would be on the school bus coming home, but thankfully he didn't because his school bus, he has to catch two school buses home. So the second school bus wasn't running uh, they had just said no nah, we can't get through we can't have access to where you need to go and so he would have just been stranded being dropped off by the first school bus had he have caught the bus home and that bus stops about 20 k's from our house and with me not having an extra car there's no way i would have been able to get him so yeah that really scared me the fact that that could have happened so i'm so grateful he decided to go to his friend's place then after he got to his friend's place he decided that he he just wanted to come home he didn't want to stay there for the weekend so michael was able to pick him up from his friend's place on the way back from picking jesse up so it was so i was so thankful that they were all together because yeah i would have been really panicking if they were all stranded in separate locations and me having no way to get to them because like i said we're, we're only down to one car at the moment which was the one michael was driving so yeah he picked jamie up so they were all together this was on the friday when they were stranded so they couldn't get back home through the access road if they were in the hummer they would have been able to no problem but yeah, like I said, just at this time, the Hummer's not running. So, yeah, that was on the Friday when they got stranded and had to leave the car. The electrician that was driving past just, you know, so kind of him to offer if they needed to get through. So he was able to drive through it and, and drop them off home. So this is the actual moment when Michael pulled up to the road that was blocked off. And this is pretty much uh, where they had to abandon the car. Well, they actually abandoned the car a little bit further back up the hill. 
um, and this is Jamie just testing how deep the water actually went. Uh, he only got a few sort of feet away and it was already up to his shorts. So uh, Michael told him to come back. It was going to be way too deep at that stage that the water was over the fence line, which would have been at least a metre, if not more. And this was when the were in the electrician's four-wheel drive and he was going through that big uh, channel of water and dropping them off home. And yesterday, our neighbour, I think the, the waters had subsided enough in that spot that she was able to get through. She had just a regular car. So she offered to just drive Michael back up to get our car. So, yeah, we were able to get the car home. So everyone's at home, the car's at home, and we're basically just stuck at home now. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm just... I'm just so grateful we're all together. That's my big. That was my biggest worry because it could have gone so so differently. And yeah, that's why I'm reluctant to let Michael go out anywhere now because I think, well, you know, what if while you're out we just have such a heavy downpour that it all blocks off again? I've just said no. Nah, we'll just make do. We'll make do as we are for now. I mean, there's plenty of people way worse off. And Port Macquarie, like I have, I just cannot believe it. The whole of Port Macquarie is underwater. The main street where I used to go to office works and, you know, shopping, it's it's over a metre of water all down the main street. Like, all the shops are gone, or everything. It's just absolutely crazy. And it doesn't look like it's letting up for another... They said at least another week before it starts to ease off a bit. So... God only knows when we'll get our electricity back. This is this is the extent of water pressure we have when there's no electricity. And Michael is just about to prepare a cup of coffee for us both. <laughs> so we're having to fill a pan up very slowly with some water, boil the water and then make a coffee. And then while he's doing that, I'm going to get stuck into cleaning up. This is Jamie. Actually, I can't complain because Jamie made us all a really, really nice breakfast of bacon and eggs, but um, left me a really, really nice clean up as well. So Michael and Jamie worked really hard yesterday. They actually dug out all of that drainage because it was all blocked. It wasn't actually draining. The drainage pipe was actually cracked. So, but you can actually see just uh, for point on this bit here, sorry, it's a bit, that bit there, that's where it's all draining to now. So even though we've still got heaps of rain, it's definitely not flooding the, the shed anymore. So yeah, I think some of the driveway is still washing down, but yeah, at least it's been able to dry, drain away. And what do you think about it, big dog? You're quite happy about the situation, aren't you? you I don't think you've moved since we've let you inside. Where's little bandicoot? Bandicoot, <laughs> he's got his head tucked under there. Can we see him from this angle? Hello! <laughs> Are you alright there? Look at all the hair on the ground. Oh God. But why? You can't have him out in this. Poor little guys. We can always clean up the mess and the smell. No. <laughs> you like it under there? Despite my reservations, Michael and the kids are going to go for a little drive just to see what the situation looks like out there because without having internet access, we've got really no connection to the outside world at this stage. So we don't know what the access roads are looking like, uh, whether we can get out or, you know, what the situation is. So I'm going to stay home because the animals are inside and just in case they do get stuck anywhere, there's at least someone at home to look after the animals. But I mean, Michael's not an idiot. He's not going to go anywhere where it's going to be dangerous. He's just going to, I think he's going to do a bit of filming. So I'll insert some of that footage that they get just to see what it looks like around our area.
Yeah. Don't let the dogs out! <laughs> 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 well, Look at my... their ears. They're right back. <coughs> I'm gonna leave my wallet in the car. Oh god. A whole river just came off Bandit when he shook. I <laughs> know. Oh, Look how wet they are. Look at them. They're rats. They're rats. Well, they want to be outside though, too. I mean, they like it inside, but they want to be outside as well. I don't blame them. They love it. I love being outside. <laughs> Morphew is complaining. Morphew is complaining. Well, the kids and Michael are back already. That wasn't very long. They couldn't get very far. They, the road was flooded even like closer than when they got stuck on Friday. So yeah, they, they didn't get very far at all. So we are officially stranded, isolated. <laughs> can't get in, can't get out. So our lives have come to this. We are that freaking bored. <laughs> we are playing Monopoly. This is probably not going to end well. We'll see who ends up throwing the board across the room by the end of the day. You have won second prize in a beauty contest. Oh, Give me that thing. <laughs> so I collect $10 from the bank. Is that yeah. right? No, from, from the beauty contest. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And do I put that back underneath? Yeah. yeah. I hope yeah. it's a tax. First, first prize in a beauty contest. Oh my God. Advance to go and collect $700. <laughs> <laughs> so you already skipped the whole thing. And I gotta get 700. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Get $200. It says collect, is that what you get? Are you buying it? Mm, probably not. I'll yeah. buy it. Oh. I might 
might want to buy it. You have to auction it then. Uh, What's the starting bid then? 220. <laughs> you can't. Is that, it? That's, that's literally how much it costs. No, no, that's how much it costs, but that's not for an auction. The, auction, the whole point of auction is you can get it cheaper than what you okay, can be. $50. $220. <laughs> <laughs> Spend the extra <laughs> on <laughs> You never bought it, did you? <laughs> well, what now, now I'm short of property. Yeah, I've got $9 less than I needed to. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright, as long as you didn't get it. Yeah, I, I wanted to get wanted. it. What is it, Fleet Street? <laughs> Bank error in your favour, collect $2,000. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Two $250. Show me that. <laughs> it's not even how much you pay for And this is rent. I'm not oh, buying the property. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <I think that. laughs> Fuck, I can't even pay that. <laughs> Give me my change. $50? How much is it? I only carry 50 I can't even, I can't, I can't even calculate the change. <laughs> Let's just round it up All to right, 50. <laughs> Start off, start off with a 30. What? What are you talking about? I'm paying. Oh, well, I know. Just I can, round it up. Just right, round it up to an even 50. 50. 50. I actually it's got it. It's $18. It is $18. <laughs> Where's the extra dollar? Where, I want the extra dollar. Get it from Santa. Oh, oh, buying it, bitch. Oh, no. Give it in. I'm going to have a hotel on that. Wait, wait. You might have to stop. I hate you all. I hate you all. $12. I need $8 back. You've got it there. I can see it. I'm taking it. I can literally see my money sitting there. $1,700. One, two, four. How do I pay that? Sell your houses, I don't care. Give. You owe me 1100 She owes me 200 I won the game. And then I'm not playing! <laughs> it is Sunday night, can you see me? We're by candlelight, day three of no electricity, no mobile or internet service. We, it did, the internet and mobile tower did switch on for a, a couple of hours last night and we were all able to sort of update our statuses and, you know, let everyone know what's going on and have a look on all the Facebook group community pages to see what roads are out and what's been happening. But yeah, it's been off ever since. We've got our generator going so that we've got a cold fridge. We've just got that hooked up to the fridge and freezer. We're cooking some tacos. Me and the kids played uh, Monopoly and what was the other game we played? Oh, Escape Room. We played that this afternoon and we're probably gonna play a few more board games after dinner tonight. So yeah, that's Sunday night <laughs> wrapping up. I'll probably get on again Monday, let you know if anything changes. Hopefully the electricity will be back on by Monday. I don't, the rain hasn't really let up that much, has it Mike, today? It's still been going on and off constant all day, so we may not even have electricity by tomorrow either. So, yeah, just going to take every day as it comes. Luckily, we've got the generator this time, so at least all our food's not going rotten. And we've got quite a bit of food to keep us going for a little while. So, yeah, that's it for tonight. Sunday night, over and out. I'll see you again tomorrow morning. <laughs> morning, everyone. It is Monday, day four of no electricity no hot water, no internet service, no mobile coverage. <laughs> sure, I've got no way of contacting my work to let them know what's going on. Um, so I think my job should have started about half an hour ago now. I think it's around 8.30 in the morning. Um, so yeah, I've, I've not even got any way to contact my boss to let them know that I can't work or that I'm safe or anything like that. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen there. The dogs are currently fighting over one dumpling that Bandit's saved from last night's dinner. He's just got it sat under his chin and barking at Chaos over it. And Chaos just couldn't 
gives two stuffs. See, Chaos is in the cage, not even looking at Bandit. And Bandit's got a dumpling between his legs that he didn't eat last night and is purposely saving just so he can argue over. Eat your dumpling. Chaos does not even care. Just eat it. Don't save it. You, you can't just sit it under your chin and save it to argue over. Otherwise, I'll take it off you and give it to him. It's not worth fighting over because you're the one that always ends up getting hurt. Chaos couldn't care less. <laughs> He's such a rat bag bandit. Why are you such a rat bag? Today is Wednesday. I have skipped a couple of days. Um, the last day I actually filmed was on Monday. Monday during the day was pretty uneventful. It was the same as every other day. We didn't have power or anything like that. So we didn't really do much. Monday night, our electricity finally came back on. So that was good. We still didn't have any mobile service or anything or internet at that stage. And then on Tuesday, I actually had the day off work as I had to help Michael fix some fencing and our water pump. I think our water pump had got a bit flooded out. It's not quite elevated enough. So I think a bit of water actually got in it and flooded it a bit. So we we'll, we had to have, um, Michael had a trip up to Bunnings to get some supplies to fix that and the fencing as well as our um, drainage system in the, well, like all the drainage pipes. Uh, for the shed. So we spent all of Tuesday sorting that out and it was still raining as of Tuesday, still very drizzly and you know like heavy showers and all that throughout the day. And then today is Wednesday, it is blue skies, sunshine and really really warm. It's as if nothing had ever happened over the last four days. It is bizarre. Um, so today I actually went back to work today well went back to work I actually worked today um, still from home but um, yeah we have every single window in the house open every single blind open just to dry the whole house out and air everything out and yeah it is just a beautiful beautiful day today I've just finished work now so it's about six o'clock ish I just yeah I did a little bit of overtime today just to catch up but um, yeah, it's just been an absolutely brilliant day. So I think it's all back to normal for us. I think now the worst of it is heading inland and down south as far as I know. So yeah, I'm um, just praying for all those guys that, you know, take take a bit of precaution as to what's happened up here and, and brace yourselves and prepare yourselves um, and get out like you know with a lot of time to spare like don't leave it too late uh for us everything's back to normal and um, we really fared <laughs> very well from it like you know we had nothing compared to it like there's people that have lost their whole houses in all of this so yeah i'm just very grateful that um that we you know only had to endure a few days without electricity really uh, so yeah, so I might just finish this vlog off here and edit it and try and get it up to you guys so that you can see what we've been going through in the last few days and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.